Okay, in today's experiment, we are going to uh, do an analysis, a qualitative analysis for the cations. Uh, anytime I have a cation solution, it is the best way to identify them is to add sodium hydroxide drops. Some of the cations will not form a precipitate, so we will identify those cations doing, by doing the flame test. Other cations will form white precipitate or a colored precipitate. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to take a, a cation sample from a, a different cation every time, and I will add to it sodium hydroxide. So first, let us begin with lithium cation. So here, this is lithium cation, adding to it drops of sodium hydroxide. Nothing will happen. Okay. Now, let's try with the potassium. This is potassium. This is a sample containing potassium ions. We add to it drops of sodium hydroxide. Again, no precipitate. Now we will try the sodium cation. With the hydroxide solution, no precipitate. Let's try calcium. This is calcium with the hydroxide, a white precipitate. So we will do another test for this to identify the calcium. Let's take the magnesium. This is magnesium and this is hydroxide. Okay, now if I compare the calcium and the magnesium, the calcium is brighter. The magnesium makes a gelatin uh, white precipitate. Let's try now the barium. This is barium solution. This is not a precipitate, but the solution turns cloudy. Okay, now the aluminium. This is aluminium solution with the sodium hydroxide. It's a white precipitate, but if I put excess sodium hydroxide, it redissolves again. So we're gonna put it with the white precipitate if we're adding drops, and then we'll differentiate it from the others by adding excess sodium hydroxide. Now let us try the uh, lead. Let's start with the transition metals. The solution of lead, lead nitrate, So with a sodium hydroxide, also it gives a white color. So here, this is the other white color we have. So we need to do some more tests to differentiate between lead and calcium. Now let's try this with iron. Meaning this okay a solution of iron 2 fe plus 2 this is iron 2 solution with the sodium hydroxide drops of sodium hydroxide this green
whereas the iron three it's a brown color let's see the iron three now you will notice that already the brown three has a color uh, the the iron three has a color but this color changes if i put sodium hydroxide it becomes dark brown precipitate so this is iron three and this is iron two iron two iron three now let's try the copper the copper is a blue solution it's a blue solution copper too upon adding sodium hydroxide it will give a blue precipitate now the zinc let's just clean it This is a solution of zinc. Let's put some more zinc. And with sodium hydroxide, it forms a white precipitate, but with excess sodium hydroxide, this white precipitate redissolves. I can repeat this slowly to show you the white precipitate this is zinc and I will add a few drops of sodium hydroxide you see these this is a white precipitate now if I add more it will redissolve now we will try the silver solution of silver this is silver and we add to it sodium hydroxide it turns brown brown to gray And finally, trying a cobalt solution. The cobalt already has a red, uh, dark red color. So if I add to it sodium hydroxide, the color turns blue precipitate. I get a dark blue precipitate. Now in the next video, I will do a flame test for the metals that did not do a precipitate and I will do some more tests to differentiate between the colored precipitates.